Hey you guys, so I just tried to do this video two seconds ago. I'm having issues with my Facebook Live tonight, but I'm gonna give it about a minute. If you guys are hopping on and you're watching this live, I want you to drop a one in the comments. That way I know who I'm talking to. Um, I know everyone's probably gearing up or gearing down for bedtime, um, but I thought I'd hop on here because I had some things on my mind. Hey Brett, how are you? Um, I actually just got involved with this app. It's a fitness and nutrition and personal development app and it's called FitBody. So uh, I know I've, I've talked to a few of my clients about it, but it has not launched yet. I, as well as many other health professionals, uh, there's metaphysicists, there are nutritionists, dietitians, personal trainers, uh, health coaches, business-driven uh, individuals that can better your business. Um, I've tagged a few of these people that I've been working with to um, put forth our knowledge into this app. And I'm not going to go into details about the app, but some of the people that I have tagged are involved. And I have never witnessed such amazing support from a group of individuals the way I have over the past two weeks. I mean, these people, hey, John, what's going on? Um, hey, Kevin. Hey, Emily. Go ahead, and I did this for the video because I'm doing Facebook Lives on this um, Fit Body community every Tuesday night. And so I just finished up with my Facebook Live, and I do everything nutrition on Tuesdays. And I asked everyone to drop the emoji that best describes their past weekend. So I know that some of the people involved with the app had their Fit Bowl, and I missed out. It was in Florida. I couldn't go. And I'm watching all of these these videos and these posts and I felt like I was missing out and I was back home. So I kind of had the emoji like sad face cause I missed out. But John was dropping some emojis like fire and like the hand over the face. Cause I know they were doing a little, a little, having a lot of fun. Hey Cecilia, what's going on? Hey, if you guys are watching this live, go ahead and drop a one. If you're watching it on replay, I want to see hashtag after party because, you know, I'm sitting here partying it up in my, uh, in my living room by myself. Um, but, well, yes. Hey, Lisa, I tagged you. So the people that I tagged are such knowledgeable people. I've missed a few people. And there are people I tagged, like Nellie and Michelle and Kelly, that are business people. And the reason why I tag these people is because these are the type of individuals that years ago, I actually would have looked at them. And if I would have looked at the success that they were achieving, I would have automatically been jealous. I probably, not that I would have wished them failure, you know, failure on them and their business and everything, but I had this mentality that, well, if they're succeeding, if they're happy, if they're doing well, then I, hey Peggy, what's going on? Um, if they're succeeding, somehow that's taking away from my success or my potential growth as a human being or as a business owner. And I love this. Lisa and John, you guys are so cute. Um, so... Over the years, I realized something. Even so, I mean, this goes not even just for business. This goes in relationships. If you break up with someone or you divorce someone, you should never wish ill will or failure on that person. So, you know, when you look at someone, even if it's a, a fitness minded person if it's a nutritionist if it's a personal trainer and I see they are booming their business is booming and mine may be you know like not so hot at that point just because they are doing well doesn't mean I can't do well as well and if you break up with someone why do they have to be miserable and they can't move on and be in a relationship because you're not because you both can uh, you know, it's just in every aspect of life, you look at it that way and we should never wish ill will on anyone because just because 
if they have failure, we could have failure. Or if they have success, we could have success too. So I don't know why we don't boost each other up more than we do because nine times out of 10, when you do focus your energy on other people and praising other people and you know looking at their success, energy out is energy in. So you look at people that are working with others and they're, are, they're boosting everyone else around them, them up and they're uplifting and they're motivating others, usually they get that in return. So if you are focusing on helping others benefit their business and their life, their religious life, their relationship life, their financial life, it is going to reward you. The universe will reward you. So I mean, that's why I want to have the universe reward me, right? That's why I'm doing this post. That's why I try to be such, you know, the type of person that gives credit where credit is due because we don't do it. We don't do it very much. And I'm the first to admit that I have just started doing this over the past couple of years. Before that, I will tell you right now, I was not praising the people that I should have because I thought they were my competition. And I thought, well, oh my gosh, I'm not going to recognize their good efforts because if I do, then it's going to take away from all the good that I could have. Well, that is not the case. So stand up, stand together, stand out. That's right, Lisa. It, it really is, John. I mean, Ryan Brown is the guru on vibrations and energy and all of that. And that is another good thing about this app because it's not only fitness nutrition, but it is personal development, which all has to do with energy. And it makes perfect sense. I mean, it's the law of attraction that I don't know much about, but just hearing Ryan and some others talk about it, when you, it's like you think it, you achieve it. You know, you believe it, you receive it. That type of deal. It's true. And I know I'm kind of hopping all around, but hey, Christine, hey, Kelly. Kelly, I think I tagged you. I hope I tagged you. If I didn't, um, I want to recognize you because you bust your butt, girl. I mean, hey, James, what's going on? Uh, you know, I cannot tell you how motivated I am when I look at other people that day in and day out, they're busting their butt. And I know they're not just doing it on social media. I mean, social media takes a lot of energy. I mean, you having to keep up with your posts every day, Anthony, Don Scob, what's going on? All right. For you guys that you missed me saying this in the beginning, I really want to see, how about drop your favorite emoji? So you don't have to describe your past weekend. What's going on, Kelly? I'm recognizing you for being a very amazing businesswoman. Um, and I missed a lot of you because I love all of you. And I have so many friends that are great business people and great people in general. They bust their butts. They're great parents. They're great, you know, whether they own a business or they're a great employee or moving up the ladder or whatever. But... These are just the people that came to mind. But drop that emoji that you love to use. Or if you have an emoji that categorizes or describes your last weekend. Um, so you're welcome, my love. So that's pretty much all I have to say. Do any of you, and you know what? Let's do this right now. In the comments, I would like everyone that's still watching this to tag someone that they would like to recognize because again you guys energy out energy in so and it's good to recognize people because i think people do not realize sometimes that others really appreciate the efforts that they're putting forth and so it's kind of hey liz what's going on i love it i love that emoji the girl and then i love that mm, with the hands out i love the new emojis bombs yes I love it, love it, love it. Um, I, I used the eye roll a couple times. I know that's terrible. Is it terrible? I used the eye roll one. But um, yeah, so please tag at least one person you want to recognize because I think that will lift their spirits too. Um, and you can even put why you want to recognize them. But I think we need to do it. We need to give credit where credit is due. And yes, girl, all of the, all of the good ones. Hey, Melissa. What's going on? All the way from Colorado. 
All right, so I'm about to tune out. I need to get in the shower and head to bed. So tag a friend, an acquaintance, a family member, whoever you want to recognize. My sister is not hopping on here because I wanted to recognize her because she's amazing. She's the best mom I know other than my mother. And um, if I could be half, there she is. Hey, did you hear me? You're the best mother outside of our mother. And if I can be half the mother that you both are, then I will be pretty, a pretty good mother. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, if I missed your comments, I'll comment back a little bit later. But thank you guys for tuning in because I know that time is very valuable. And I know you probably want to go to sleep here soon because it's a Tuesday. And I have a full day tomorrow. I think I have seven clients in the morning back to back. All before 1230. And I do in-home personal training. So think about that one. All right. Love you, Ange. Um, Shut up. Oh, uh -huh, she's crying. Don't cry. Don't cry. Okay. So love you all. I want to recognize everyone that's watching this because you're all awesome, supportive people. And you all have a good night. And I'll talk to you soon.